where does strength come from? The Bulls knock off a power five team in your a bowl city, game for the second your home, or is it where you are going? And this is going for a touchdown, six for the Bulls. All the work and effort that brought you here to the moments that define you. Strength isn't about what you can do. It's about what can be accomplished as a team. A family pushing each other toward greatness to define their own legacy for a new era on the Bay. This is Bulls country. Bull strong inside USF football. Two claps in the room, clap, two claps in the room, clap. Woo! You know, it's, it's been a great experience, you know, coming in as a freshman and to, to seeing how the campus has grown and, and just the, the overall atmosphere has grown. There's been a lot of changes. And I think, you know, this, this, this campus and this, this university is just at growing rate. You know, it's exciting to be a part of that. And it's just been a humbling experience, it's been a great experience. And just seeing that growth and seeing myself grow with the program and with the university, that's been something that's like, I've been blessed to be a part of and that I'm gonna be forever grateful for. And, and USF is a perfect place to live out your dreams. It's a great campus, it's a great program, it's a great area to, to come to. Um, and I just say to never give up on yourself and always believe in yourself and, and believe that you can do anything that you want to and you can achieve anything you want to. As long as you, you know, have the love for it, have the drive for it, you can do it. And um, I, don't, I don't regret any decision I made and I, I'll pick USF anytime. So. Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Coca-Cola. Hooters. Tampa General Hospital. USF Health. Florida Lottery. Wendy's. Wendy's is a proud partner of USF Athletics. And when the Bulls play, you win. Get a free small fry after each Bulls football game and score a free small frosty when they win. Valid for 24 hours after any game day at participating Tampa area Wendy's locations. No purchase necessary. segment of Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Tampa General Hospital. Leroy Selman is a strength for not only the Tampa Bay community, uh, but for the University of South Florida. We were so fortunate to have him as part of uh, his legacy. Uh, the fact is he set an amazing role model as a life for uh, how to be as a human being. And the way he treated people, uh, the way he had respect for everyone is, as a university, but certainly in the athletic department in terms of how our employees treat people, how they treat each other. And to have him as, a, as an icon and a, and a role model, if you will, uh, for every, every student athlete and certainly every football player and coach that comes through here uh, is very special. Uh, we want to be champions in the community. The Tampa Bay community is, is an amazing one to live in. They give a lot to us. Uh, we want to be able to give back to them. And in fact, in the past two years, our coaches and staff and student athletes have provided more than 9,000 hours of community service to this community. So we're giving back and a great partner. And ultimately, 
the whole goal of this whole of this whole thing in, in, in college athletics is to be a champion in life. And so with our amazing uh, student athlete uh, services that we provide, our Selma mentoring program, uh, our, our student athletes have the ability to uh, have so many resources to help them uh, have, make the most of their situation here at USF that's going to prepare them for a great life. One of the exciting things about being a relatively uh, young university, and especially one that's been as successful as, as South Florida has been, is to see some of our players and to see them come back and be an integral part of our, uh, of our program and, and be visible. We love having the former uh, student athletes of all sports come back, and the fact that they're coming back even more now and, and recently means that they're very proud of what has been accomplished uh, by the program and by the players. Uh, it's really exciting to see. We want to be a family here at USF. We are and that becomes more evident every day as our, as our former student athletes come, come back and become a greater part of our current uh, situation. This program started uh, when, when the football program found great success by working out of trailers and they, they, they've made the most out of everything they're given and I just keep thinking that when we give them uh, what their competitors have, uh, I just can't wait to see the success because if we're, if we're doing what we're doing now with not having what they have, just imagine what we'll have when we have an even playing field. Uh, I just really feel that we've got the right conditions with the right coach, with the right players that are coming in here to make sure that uh, we go to the next level. To have Leroy as a, as a role model, if you will, we want to make him proud and, and we will. 98 yards, Terrence Horn, touchdown ball. I think my favorite moment was just the Georgia Tech game. Um, that was my first time putting on pads and going on the field for like, like a year and a half. I mean, I was still injured at the time, but I was just happy to be out there with my teammates. Special moments, I have to say, were like, just being out there with my brothers and playing all a lot for the seniors and just celebrating with the crowd. Yeah, it's my very first game. That was a very amazing feeling for me, you know. First time stepping on there on the college grade iron and scoring my first touchdown on my first catch. I was pretty happy about that. Well, I got to say the game then, pregame just getting hype with everybody. And then during the game, when people make plays, just rooting for everybody. Uh, I'd say my favorite part is probably running out of the tunnel at home. It's like, it's an amazing feeling when you see a bunch of people just start cheering you on and they're supporting you as one family. And as the USF football team, we don't want to let anybody in our family down. So that's why we want to go out and play our best every game. This segment of Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Wendy's. A sun-splashed Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, and a time to give public thanks to a group of South Florida seniors who have given so much to the green and gold. But this group is a special one. 18 players who have been part of the most successful era in program history. 36 wins in four seasons. Ladarian McBride, Derek Hintz, Kevin Bronson, Riley Sheehan, Jake Vivanetto, Jamon Thomas, Jeffrey Farrar, Davian Sutton, Chris Barr, Vincent Jackson Jr., Jawan Brown, Mazzy Wilkins, Josh Black, Raisheen Bronson, Eric Mays, Khalid McGee, Ronnie Hoggins, Tyree McCants. A time to share the USF family with their own families. 
each with a rose, subtly reflecting the glory and thorns of four years of sacrifice. It was an emotional conclusion to the regular season for many reasons. The annual war on I-4 against in-state rival Central Florida is always a special affair. USA! 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 So here we go with the war on I-4. And it's Zola Duncan making an impact right away. Already bowl eligible for a fourth straight season, the Bulls were also looking to get their game back to its earlier level, one that had them start the season with seven straight wins. Clean pocket, rifles a pass, low, caught by Mitchell Wilcox. Sophomore Chris Oladokun made his second start at quarterback for the injured Blake Barnett, and both teams traded interceptions in the first quarter each desperately trying to get the early upper hand in this annual grudge match. Milton, he throws a pick. Roberts has it for the Bulls. He's got a blocker. Finds the sideline, and Roberts will angle out of bounds in the red zone. The aggressive Bulls refused to settle for a field goal and went for it on fourth down. They give it to Cronkright, he's hit at the line. I don't know, it's gonna depend on the spot. They were just short. UCF then started the first scoring drive of the game. Penalty flag down, Milton to the end zone, touchdown. Bulls fought hard on defense to keep it tight, preventing the Knights from converting on third down. Charlie Strong's team with a young backup quarterback found a spark on offense with a really young running back. Here's a good run for Ford. Johnny Ford with a burst of speed. They're running the ball well now. Another big run for Ford. And finally, Richie Grant is able to haul him down. After falling behind 17-0, the Bulls refused to give in. Kobe Weiss got them on the board with a 25-yarder before halftime. Down 14 at the break, they were determined to get back in the game, and they would, thanks in large part to a defense that forced UCF to punt on their first three possessions of the second half. It gave the Bulls offense time to find a rhythm. Now USF has it. And the running game has really found a spark with Johnny Ford. He is having a terrific night. Oladoka throws, pass is caught, Johnny Ford room, and he's gone, touchdown! Johnny Ford! It was now 17-10, and the second largest crowd in the history of the rivalry roared with approval. A holiday atmosphere on a holiday weekend, rivalry weekend all across the college football landscape. Underclassmen played well and showed promise for the future. Seniors left knowing that although they had fallen short, they played tough against a ranked rival, and that the season was not over. They await a bowl bid. The seniors have helped make that an annual event. While it was tough for them to walk off the Raymond James turf for the last time, they did so knowing they have won five of their last six bowl games. They did so knowing the holidays are just beginning. something that you know we live for coming out of the tunnel and you're seeing all the fans in Ray J you see the fan support on social media you see the fan support um, a around the, the area it just makes the game worth playing like outside of you know your own po personal like goals and that just the the impact you can have on you know people outside of the program like you playing makes them excited it makes brings enjoyment to somebody else's life 
And that's something that I don't think we, we really think about on a daily, that you are impacting somebody else by playing, playing the game, you know, and, and it's just, it just makes it, you know, worth playing. Go Bulls. Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Coca-Cola, Hooters, Tampa General Hospital, USF Health, Florida Lottery, Wendy's. Wendy's is a proud partner of USF Athletics. And when the Bulls play, you win. Get a free small fry after each Bulls football game and score a free small frosty when they win. Valid for 24 hours after any game day at participating Tampa area Wendy's locations. No purchase necessary. Coach Blue is probably like one of the best coaches I ever had because he's going to get the best out of you. He want nothing but the best from you. Some days you might not like him, some days you're going to love him. You know? During practice, he likes to mess with your mind, test your mental, you know, always seeing if you're ready to go. If you're not ready to go, he's just always testing you. In the games, he's high energy. Like, he'll start up in the box, come down to the sideline to get the energy going. Uh, it's, I think it starts with Coach Blue. You know, he's one of the best DB coaches I've ever had and ever seen. You know, the way he gets after us, he, he pushes everybody to be their best. You know, he's going to get after you. But at the same time, he's making you a better player. And then that's where you see these young guys that come up and they rise. And it's because they, they have that hard work instilled in them that no matter what, they're going to go out there and give it their best. The Bull Strong Inside USF Football Postgame Report is brought to you by USF Health. The war on I-4 was indeed that. And the win belongs to UCF, 38 to 10, the final. Yeah, you know, we feeling bad. You know, nobody like losing, uh, especially me. I don't like losing, and especially a rival team. I mean, we in the same league as them. They ain't doing nothing that we ain't doing. We doing the same thing they doing. Both us and UCF, uh, we both recruit the same players. Most of us have had offers from them and USF. We both come from the state of Florida, so they're doing a great job. Uh, of uh, and They just have confidence. They've been building off confidence, and uh, you can see the way they play. Because at the end of the day, it's really off like what you do. Oladokun throws. Pass is caught. Johnny Ford room, and he's going. Touchdown! What surprised me the most about Johnny, uh, I mean, yeah, we see him on the field. He's an exciting player. He's electric. What uh, surprised me a lot is he really tries to uh, step up and be a leader. He's very vocal on our team. Uh, he, he speaks his opinion, and when he talks, people listen. So that's something that, uh, as a freshman, you don't see a lot. So to see out of him is really good to see, and uh, he's going to be a really good player for this program. You know, when Nick Roberts got the interception, um, that was a big momentum for us. He throws a pick. Roberts has it for the Bulls. He's got a blocker. Finds the sideline, and Roberts will angle out of bounds in the red zone. It gave us some juice, and we was ready to play for, you know, when he got that. We got one game left. Uh, this this bowl game is really big for us going into next year. It's for the seniors. Um, I, I take it as uh, some guys um, we might never play ball again, never strap up again. You got to give everything you got um, because they deserve it. One day uh, for the freshman, sophomore, even for me, um, I'm gonna want somebody to put it on the line for me. You know, we got one game left, one bowl game left, and you know. I'm going to try to um, lead the team best the way I can and, and get this last win before, um, before I leave out. You know, we're a team, and we're going to remain a team at the end of the day. I know the coach is going to get on the road, uh, finish up recruiting. 
you got to recruit guys. We got to recruit big players. You got to recruit speed. You got to recruit guys that can run. All three phases, we have to get better. We got to make a commitment to where we want to take this program, how good we want to make this program. Just playing center field, and he leaped up and took that one away from Sadiq Palmer. 